Hey trainers, Sipes1946 here, and I want to introduce another HGSS to Call of Legends Subset Unlimited deck, this time focused on Yan Mega Prime. I'm about a month uh, new to the game, uh, Pokemon trading card game in general, and even less time online. And of course, so my first exposure to the cards was to the those that comprise the Furious uh, Fist set. But as I've gotten involved, I've been introduced through the game to cards uh, all the way back to the HGSS set. And as I've done that and been more exp and been more exposed to some of the older cards, I've kind of fallen in love uh, with the primes. And so today, I'm going to review a deck built on Yan Mega Prime. Yan Mega Prime is a stage one Pokemon that evolves from Yanma, has 110 hit points, and has the Insight Pokebody ability. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, the attack cost of each of Yan Mega's attacks is zero. And I, for one, really enjoy uh, doing damage to my opponent's Pokemon with uh, my primary attacker uh, that has zero energy attached to it. I like that. So you can see that linear attack does 40 damage to that Pokemon, and you can pick any Pokemon, so even a bench, and Sonic Boom does 70 damage. Now these attacks would take two and three energy, but as I said, if the Insight Pokebody Abilities requirement is met, then these attacks cost zero. And so we have some cards in the deck that help us to ensure that we do exactly have the same number of cards as our opponent, and we'll get to that. So we play four Yan Mega Prime, and we play four Yan Ma, which is the basic. Now Yan Ma has a nice Pokebody ability as well, Free Flight, and as long as Yan Ma has no energy attached to it, its retreat cost is zero. So should we be forced into putting a Yan Ma in the active position and we don't want that, we can retreat uh, for zero cost. So that's nice. It's a nice bonus. Our uh, other attacking Pokemon in this deck for those situations where we find ourselves not able to card match hand size with our opponent would be Ursaring Prime. You've seen me introduce Ursaring Prime before when it was attached to uh, Typhlosion Prime uh, in another deck design. Ursaring Prime is a stage one Pokemon that evolves from Teddy Ursa, has 110 hit points, and has a, uh, what I think is an absolutely fantastic Pokebody ability, Berserk. If there's any damage counters on Ursaring Prime, then the Hammer Arm and Megaton Lariat attacks do 60 more damage. So you get 90 and 120 damage for three and four colorless. And so we run three Usaring Prime and three Teddy Ursa. I have also talked positively about Teddy Ursa's Fake Tears ability. If you can win a coin toss, your opponent can't play any trainers and any damage done to Teddy Ursa is reduced by 30. So that's I think that's a fantastic ability for a basic. And the fact that Teddy Ursa evolves into Ursaring Prime uh, just makes it uh, that much better. We're going to run uh, several uh, tech lines in our, our Pokemon collection here to make the deck uh, even more effective. We, want, we, we, we will run one copy of Tyrogue. Tyrogue is a basic with the Pokebody ability Sweet Sleeping Face. If Tyrogue is asleep, then you prevent all damage done to Tyrogue by attacks. It has a zero energy cost ability, which is uh, in line with our zero cost theme for Yan Mega Prime, of Mischievous Punch, which does 30 damage and then puts Tyrogue asleep. And if Tyrogue stays asleep, then your opponent can't do any damage to Tyrogue. So this is a way of slowing down our opponent and stalling while we set our deck up so that it operates at its most efficient condition. We also play two copies of Cleffa. Cleffa is a basic, which you can see is very easy to knock out with only 30 hit points. It also has a sweet sleeping, the sweet sleeping face Pokebody ability, and it has another zero cost attack called Eek. Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw six new cards, and then Cleffa is asleep. So between the two Cleffa and the Tyrogue, we have three sweet sleeping face Pokebody ability Pokemon in our deck, which means we can stall, slow down our opponent, Eek allows us also to fill our hand up by getting six new cards. We also play a 2-1-2 Vileplume line. Vileplume is a stage two Pokemon with 120 hit points whose Pokebody ability Allergy Flower stops our opponent 
and ourselves from playing any trainer cards. Now, presumably, when we finally put Vileplume into play, we have the setup that we need and will be much less negatively affected by our inability to play trainer cards than our opponent will. So we play two Vileplume, which will evolve from Gloom. We play a single copy of the Stage 1, which evolves from Oddish, and we play two copies of Oddish. We also have Rare Candy in the deck to facilitate the evolution, hopefully from Oddish to Vileplume, as quickly as we need that evolution to happen. We also play two Roserade. A Stage 1 evolves from Roselia, has 90 hit points, and has the Pokey Power ability Energy Signal. When you attach either a Grass Energy or a Psychic Energy from our hand to Roserade, you can use the Energy Signal power. If you attach a Grass Energy card, the defending Pokemon is now confused. If you attach a Psychic Energy card, the defending Pokemon is now poisoned. Now, we only use Grass Energy in the deck, so when we attach a Grass Energy to Roserade, the Energy Signal Poke Power ability will activate and we will confuse the defending Pokemon. And we play a 2-2 line of Roserade, so we play to Roselia. We also play to Sunflora. Sunflora is a stage one Pokemon that evolves from Sunkern, has 80 hit points, and has the Sunshine Grace Poke Power ability. Once during your turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a grass Pokemon. So that allows us to fetch any of the grass Pokemon from our deck that we need for setup. It's a fantastic card. We run two, and we run to Sunflora. I'm sorry, we run two. Sunflora so that we can evolve into wait a minute we run to Sunkern there we go so we can evolve into Sunflora and take advantage of the Sunshine Grace Pokey Power ability. So that's our Pokemon line. We have a zero cost attacker in Yon Mega Prime. We have a Excellent damage producer, but requiring setup attacker or soaring prime. We have the Cleffa technology to slow down our opponent, stall while we set up and get cards. We have Tyrogue to also slow down our opponent, um, but it also will do damage. We run a 2 1 2 Vile Plume line to stop the play of trainers. We run a 2 2 Roserade line to take advantage of confusing our uh, opposing Pokemon's active Pokemon. Uh, our opposing opponent's active Pokemon, and we run a 2-2 Sunflora line so that we can fetch Pokemon from our deck. That's 30 Pokemon. Now that's a Pokemon heavy deck for sure. And in our play testing, we'll have to see how this is, and we'll evolve and modify the deck as appropriate. That brings us to our trainers. We play 21 trainers. We're going to play one Pokemon Circulator. This allows, this forces our opponent to switch his or her active with one of his bench. So we can force a switch um, what is advantageous for us to get their active Pokemon out of the way. Three rare candy. Of course, the rare candy are here to help us evolve into Vileplume uh, as quickly as we need to. If the rare candy count is heavy, uh, it might be. We'll back one out, or, uh, and we'll, um, or maybe we'll back even two out, and we'll be able to insert some of the cards into the deck. We run four copycat. Running four copycat is important because it allows us to shuffle our hand into the deck and then draw a number of cards equal to the number of cards in our opponent's hand. This allows us to hand size match so we can activate the zero energy cost attacks of Yon Mega Prime. And we run four. We also run four Judge. Judge forces both, opponent, both players to shuffle their hand into their deck and draw four cards. So again, we are hand size matching so we can activate the zero cost attacks from Yon Mega Prime. We will run three Pokemon Collector. This allows us to get three basic Pokemon out of our deck and put them in our hand. This, this is a great card for our setup. We're going to run three Professor Elm's Training Method. This allows us to get evolution cards. So if we need a Nursaring Prime, or if we need a Gloom or a Vileplume, or a Roserade, or a Sunflora, or even a Yon Mega Prime, all of those would be acceptable targets for Professor Elm's Training Method. So you can see we have a number of targets for the three copies that we play. We play our final uh, trainer, three copies of Professor Oak's New Theory. Shuffle our hand into the deck and draw six new cards. So that brings us to our energy line. We're going to play three double colorless energy. That helps us with the setup for Urzaring Prime. You can see it requires three and four colorless for the two attacks. Three rainbow energy. Rainbow energy provides any color energy one at a time. 
However, we have another interesting interaction where when you place rainbow energy onto a Pokemon from your hand, you add a damage counter to that Pokemon. So should we put a rainbow energy onto our Saring Prime, we're now able to take advantage of the plus 60 attack for Hammer Arm and Megaton Lariat, thereby doing 90 damage and 120 damage. And then finally, we play three Grass Energy. Now that doesn't sound like a lot of energy, but recall that we're trying to take advantage of our Saring Prime's uh, zero cost energy attacks. And with the three double colorless energy and the three rainbow energy, we have nine energy in our deck to power up our Saring Prime. So that's our Yon Mega Prime deck design. 30 Pokemon, 21 trainers, and nine energy. And um, we'll be uh, pleased to show off its power uh, in a battle. All right, let's take the Yon Mega Prime deck uh, into the ranked match queue and see how we do against a deck that will be using uh, modern standard legal cards, probably. I'm expecting, as usual, with an HGSS to Call of Legends uh, versus modern card matchup to be an imbalance in my opponent's favor. But sometimes the matches are quite interesting. Let's see how it goes. I have no idea what we're going to be up against. Let's hope we get a good hand. We can at least show off the show off the deck. Get lots of zero energy attach attacks. All right. Well, we've got no choice but to put a Roselia in the active position. Against a Dialgia EX. I don't know that I've been up against a Dialgia EX deck. All right, it's going to use Plasma Attaches and Attacks to burn through cards in my deck. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and Professor Elm. I don't have anything else to do. This might just stop us from getting... And that's it. Well, that's all we've got. So we have pretty much nothing. So we may get knocked out of the game right here. Nope. But he did attach. A third energy. He just needs a psychic. All right. So we can put a sun current on the bench. We can evolve Roselia to Roserade, which means we can attach and take advantage of energy signal. So we're going to go ahead and have to do that. So we have confused our opponent. We're going to Professor Oak's new theory. Put a Teddy Ursa on the bench. Okay, that's good news. Um, good news, we put a Teddy Ursa on the bench. He's going to be able to do with a Psychic Energy and a Heads, he's going to be able to do 90 damage. So it's going to knock out our Roserade if he should happen to meet those two conditions. So he's got his energy. Uh, wait a minute. No. Okay, fast forward, yeah. So he met those two conditions. We've got no choice but to put Teddy Ursa in the active position because of fake tears. Um, so we'll attach an energy so we can take advantage of fake tears. Um, we can go ahead and Professor Elm's training method to get a Sun Flora. And we can Sunshine Grace to get a Yanma. Put that on the bench. We do have a Yan Mega in our hand. Hopefully we get heads with the fake tears, and we did not. So he's going to one-hit KO our Teddy Ursa with his uh, fast-forward attack.
He's got a Team Plasma Vaporeon on the bench. Team Plasma Ball. He's going to put a Team Plasma Pokemon into his hand, probably play it. He's going to put an Absol on the bench. Does 90 damage to our Teddy Ursa, just like we thought. We're going to go ahead and promote Yanma to the active position. Because we're going to be able to evolve to Yanmega, we can judge to match hand size if we need to. We're going to draw a card, so it will be put Yanma in the active position. Um, we can evolve. We can actually go ahead and attach an energy. Um, we're going to judge matching hand size. Which means we can Sonic Boom for 70. He is going to do 90 damage, assuming he doesn't put a Muscle Band or something onto his Dialga EX and knock out our Yon Mega. He puts a Dark Rye EX on the bench. Two energy on his Absol, so his Mind Jack attack um, is active. So he does 90 damage to our Yon Mega Prime. Um, we don't have any cards to hand size match, however, we can bench. A Cleffa and an Oddish to hand size match. Um, if we Sun Flora, we're going to draw a Pokemon. Go as long as it's a basic. So, what we're going to do is we're going to Sunshine Grace for a Yanma and we're going to bench it. Now we have hand size matching, so we're going to go ahead and Sonic Boom again. So we've done 140 damage to his DLG EX. That's not bad considering the fact that my cards are seriously outmatched. He is going to knock out our Yon Mega Prime, but we're going to evolve to another Yon Mega Prime. That's fine. We can also put Cleffa in the active position, and that's actually what we're going to do. We're going to evolve our bench Yanma to a Yon Mega Prime. Um, we can Pokemon Circulator. But he's got Dark Cloak, so if he attaches a Dark Energy, then he's going to be able to put one of his Powered Up Attackers right back into the scheme of things and continue his knockouts. We're going to go ahead and do it. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Puts Vaporeon in the active. And we're going to Sunshine Grace, looking for, I guess, a Gloom, because the next evolution would be put the Vile Plume in play, and we'll have the uh, we'll have the lock we'll have the lock in place, but that lock is for both of us. So we're going to uh, Eek, which is going to draw us four cards and put Cleffa asleep. Cleffa stays asleep, which is great, which means Cleffa, because of the sweet sleeping face, will take no damage. So unless he has a Lysander, which he very well may, we're going to be able to stall for uh, at least a turn. And we drew into a Vile Plume, so we're going to be able to stop each player from playing any trainers. So that's good. That's good. Um, you know, we're getting stomped on because of the uh, card quality mismatch, so it's really not going to hurt us any. So Vile Plume is now in place. We're going to put another Yanma on the bench. Um, we can also Sunshine Grace for another Yan Mega, I guess, would be the way to go. Not really sure. Um, we don't really need to Energy Attach. He has two cards, so Judging is going to give him four cards. I think we're going to save our judges and copycats when we have zero energy attacks. We can't eek again because Cleffa stayed asleep. So let's just hope that we roll, we flip a tails, and we did. So Cleffa stays asleep, which is great because that means we can continue to stall unless he's got some way to get Cleffa out of the active position. Which means um, with a zero cost retreat, so as long as Cleffa wakes up, we're going to be able to, okay, so Cleffa is still asleep. I was going to say we'll be able to put a Yon Mega in the active. So now we have a second Yon Mega Prime on the bench. We can Sun Flora's Sunshine Grace again. Um, we 
this time we'll take a Roselia. This time we're going to put a Roselia on the bench. And again, we have our hand full of uh, hand size equalizers, but we don't have a Yon Mega Prime in the active. Um, we are going to go ahead and... Well, no, we have to have Roserade to take advantage of the energy of the signal. What's it called? Energy signal, I believe. So we're going to have to pass the turn, and hopefully Cleffa stays asleep. Cleffa wakes up, which means he is going to be back to doing knockouts now. Um, if he does Refreshing Rain, he's just going to heal damage off of his Dialga EX. Um, I'm assuming that um, he may certainly uh, retreat out of the active position and bring in something that's going to do a one-hit knockout. So, no, he healed damage. He went ahead and, and healed damage. So I guess we're fine with that. Um, so now the question now is, what do we want to do? You know, there's no way we're going to win this match. So what we are going to go ahead and do is we're going to take advantage of some zero energy attacks. So and we're going to retreat. We're going to bring a young Mega Prime into the active position. Now remember, he's not able to play any trainer cards because of Allergy Flower. So that's good. So we do have a little bit of a lock in place. However, we're still seriously outmatched. If we play Judge, um, we're going to keep four cards. He's going to keep four cards. He's got five now. Um... All of these cards go back into the deck, so we're not going to lose anything. If we copycat, um, then he's going to keep his cards, and we're going to uh, draw five. So I think we want to judge. No, I think if we keep his, I think, you know what, I think we're going to let him keep his cards. So we're going to copycat. We're going to get five new cards, but that activates Yon Mega Prime's uh, zero energy cost attacks. Now we can Sun Flora, so we're going to do that Sunshine Grace ability first. And we're going to take a Roserade. We'll attach. So we have uh, Energy Signal now. This is an available Poke Power ability. We don't have an Energy, um, but we're going to go ahead and Sonic Boom for 70. So we did another zero energy attack. Now he might. Okay, so he's healing again. Um, unfortunately, we don't have um, an Energy to attach to Roserade. Or we could uh, take advantage of Energy Signal and we could confuse his active Vaporeon. However, we can. Uh, we have three. We have six. So we are we are actually hand size matched again now. Um, and I could take advantage of Yon Mega's zero cost attack. And we're going to Sonic Boom for 70. Let's knock it out. So we take a KO. So it is uh, three to one in prize cards. We are outmatched. He's going to put the Dialga Prime in the active, or he could put the Lugia EX in the, in the, in the, in the, in the active position. Uh, regardless of which attacker he brings forward, we're seriously outmatched. Um, even the Mind Jack is going to do 20 damage to each, each Pokemon on my bench. Um, instead, he decided to do uh, the Fearsome Shadow. We're going to put another... You know what? We might... Let me see here. Now we're going to put Yon Mega Prime. We want to show off the zero energy attack. So we're going to put Yon Mega Prime. We're going to go ahead and energy attach. We're going to put a Sunkard on the bench. We're going to energy attach, activating energy signal. So he confuses active Absol. Um, if we Professor Oak's new theory, we're in danger of possibly not having a hand size equalizer. So we're going to go ahead and judge. So each, each now has four cards, which means we can Sonic Boom for 70. So he's confused and poisoned. Okay, he's going to bring Lugia EX. He clears the special condition off of his Absol. He brings Lugia EX into the active position. It's got four energy attacks, so it's going to do 120. Let's go ahead and be a good sportsman. Uh, we were outmatched, but that was 350 damage that we did without any energy attached to our attacker. So I will I will uh, show a Yon Mega Prime matchup against an HGSS to Call of uh, Call of Legends. Um, to uh, I'm sorry to uh, to Call Deck. Uh, subset of the unlimited format, which will be a much uh, better matchup with the cards of the equal of uh, equal uh, strength. Um, but I did want to go ahead and show this deck against uh, whatever I found in the uh, ranked queue. And uh, so you saw what happened. 
we do get outclassed. We did draw more cards than our opponent. Um, we only played four energy. Mostly that was to take advantage of energy signal. Um, we did put a trainer lock on them. So they didn't play trainers um, once we evolved our Vile Plume. And so I actually enjoy that. Um, he did heal 160 damage. Um, so, you know, we, we made it a challenge for him. It wasn't a, you know, free knockout and over. Got to take six prizes um, when you're playing. When you're playing uh, Pokemon that only give up one prize card per KO. And anyway, that was Yon Mega Prime. Again, outclassed, outmatched, but it's a lot of fun to play. And uh, I look forward to using the Yon Mega Prime deck again uh, in an appropriate matchup in the near future. Sykes1946, I'll see you soon.